Welcome back. Last week, Waxahachie had to make plays late in the game to upset Highland Park. And the guy who made the majority of those plays is this week's MVP. Jalen Rieger is a certified playmaker for the Indians of Waxahachie. Last Friday, the wide receiver proved he could dominate against a state power in Highland Park despite several double teams. The senior didn't find the end zone in the first half, but scored three touchdowns in the second half, including the game winner with 19 seconds left. Rieger finished with eight catches for 205 yards and also came home with last week's MVP. And we're joined by Jalen and his head coach, John Kitna. All right, congratulations. Here is your bobblehead. What do you think? Is that about a game day look for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like it. Good. Look just like me. <laughs> Good. Well, congratulations. All right, take me back to last week. As a wide receiver, it was a shootout, so I'm sure you love that. It's Highland Park. It's a big game. What was the focus leading up to that game? Um, I mean, everybody was saying they were disciplined and, you know, we couldn't, really didn't nobody think we could beat them. So we just had to just play our game and play up to our ceiling. John, as a former NFL quarterback, you've thrown to a lot of great receivers. What are special traits that he has? Well, his route running is the first thing that, you know, on the field that just stands out to you. It was the first thing we saw when we saw him. Uh, it usually takes years for receivers to learn how to run with their shoulders over their toes when they make breaks and stuff like that, and that comes natural to him. He's sharpening out of his cuts. But, you know, the biggest thing really is his leadership, and he's very unselfish with his teammates and things like that. So uh, it really endears him to his teammates and allows everybody else to play great around him, and that's always the mark of a great player. And the route running you mentioned, you're not the only one who notices. The opponents notice, too. You get double teamed a lot. How often are you getting double teamed, and what's the key to beating that? Um, I get double teamed, well, the past two games, mostly every play, but the key <laughs> is to, I guess sometimes you just got to play football, so the routes may not be as sharp or right on point, but, you know, I got to get to my, my landmark. Coach, Waxahachie's off to a great start this year. I'm sure the last thing you want to avoid is a, another Whataburger playoff toss-up, like what happened at the end of last season. How important is getting off to a good start like you guys are doing right now? Well, you know, these are non-district games, uh, and so at the, at the end of the day, these don't determine anything for us, but for us, we're we, you know, we have great players that played a lot. We have six or seven of them, but then the rest of our kids are really inexperienced, and so it's been great to play this kind of slate of football games and get that kind of experience. And and uh, you know, for us, the biggest thing is is being healthy going into district, and we are. Jalen committed to the University of Oklahoma, big time wide receiver commit. Why is that a great fit for you? Um, I like the you know, it's just the, the coaches and. I can compare myself to Sterling Shepard, so I feel like I can fit well in the offense. And John, briefly, as the season is going on here, just how excited are you for Waxahachie football, what you've been able to do in, what, a season and a half now? Well, it's a great community. It has a great tradition of excellence. And, uh, you know, I, I'd be lying if I didn't say every day we walk in there that I don't feel a little bit of the ghost of the past of guys that played there and guys that are coaching with us now and, and his pops that – you know, dominated and, and uh, you know, basically was the talk of the, uh, of the town when, when they were there. And so we're trying to get back to that level, uh, that consistent level of greatness. And, uh, and for us, we've had a couple of teams that we've played in the last couple of weeks that helps us see that in Highland Park and Ennis that are always there every year. So that's what we're trying to, trying to achieve. But it's a great community. And so there's a lot of great community support. And then, you know, the thing we found when we got here is there's a lot of really good football players. He... He's all right, and then we got a few <laughs> other ones. So, Well, no question, you guys are battle-tested after a tough non-district schedule.